what up people this is man at arms with another episode of beats and tech maybe to be rebranded as biz and tech we'll see i'll kind of tell you about that in the future or maybe at the end of the episode we'll see yeah i know it's been a minute since i did a video and that's got to do with a few different things one of it just being having just having time to try to do videos come up with topics at the same time life happens as people often make note of when it comes to lag in actual videos being posted i just posted a video recently of just something i just kind of did on the fly which i might start doing more of just things that may kind of pop in my head and something i might think is valuable that want to share with you guys with that being said the video that I'm about to share with you today is something that I made mention of a while ago when I did a video with Samsung Flow. This video is gonna be a quick demo of Samsung DeX, D-E-X. Samsung DeX, which is kind of the flip side of Samsung Flow where Samsung Flow, basically you're just kind of mirroring and remotely controlling your phone. Whereas with DeX, it is actually you using your phone as kind of a desktop and i'm not going to give you the full rundown in that i'm not going to show you how you set it up with like a monitor keyboard mouse and all of that however there's a feature within dex that allows you to install software on your actual computer desktop and you can use your existing desktop with your phone and your phone will still look like you're sitting down in front of it with a keyboard mouse and monitor. So it'll give you kind of a, I won't say a Windows desktop feel, probably more like a Linux desktop feel to a degree. But I'm gonna show you something real slick with it too where you can use your phone to remotely access a Windows computer. So with that being said, I'm gonna kind of show you how I got it set up. The first thing that I'll share is let me pull it up right quick slide this over and this is where you actually can download and i'll put the link in the video the windows version of samsung decks where you can install it on your computer now it says hey you need to have your phone connected wirelessly to your machine but i mean not wirelessly with usb but i have it set up to where it's connected wirelessly USB is kind of a more of a stable connection, but wireless still works. I didn't want to set up the USB portion because sometimes that's iffy. Wireless is the same way if you want to be honest, but wireless was the quickest way I could get it to work without having to go through a bunch of stuff and setting up cables and all that kind of crap. Just didn't feel like doing that right now. So I'll pull it up right quick. All right, so let me show you where I got the uh, link for Samsung dex so let me share my screen so first of all had to download or actually do a google search did google search for samsung dex download and i got the second link i clicked that that took me here where i ended up clicking the it says microsoft's windows store but it didn't take me to the store because basically i had to scroll down here and it gave me this click to download the Samsung DeX app for use on your PC for Windows 10 and above. So I clicked that and that took me to the download, which download started. You see, I can already, I've already downloaded a couple times already. From that point, I just ran it, followed the prompts and then installed the application. So from here, gives you an icon, icon Samsung DeX. So Let's open that and you'll get this and says to start Samsung DeX. Connect your phone to your computer using USB cable. Now, I did not do that. What I did, and this is from remembering previously, you can actually do this using a wireless connection. So on your mobile device, and let me switch to my screen or back to the my, main camera here. there you go so on my computer on my phone actually let me turn up the brightness maybe hopefully you can see this so what I did pull down the drop down 
and go to search. See, I already got decks in there. Can't see, it's kind of blurry. But typed in decks for the search. It's the first thing that came up, Samsung decks. I click that. Come down. Man, it's kind of blurry, I'm sorry. Maybe I can. There we go. Now, I'll be out of focus, but this will be in focus. So, click that. And right here it says start decks. Click that and just wait a minute. That kitchen, whatever that streaming 4K stick. I don't know what that is. It might be somebody in the neighborhood, but that ain't what I'm looking for. But there's my crap. There's my Windows Dex desktop that pulls up. And you can click that. And then click start now. And then we'll go back to the main screen. And it should be popping up. Now, back on my phone, there's an option that says connect wirelessly. It already did it. I don't know if you need to connect it or click that, but I did anyway. And it says connect wirelessly, but it's already doing it. So if you look right here, sorry if my voice is kind of in and out, but I've been moving around with it. So if you look here, now this is what Samsung DeX looks like actually on a Windows PC. But this is how it would look like if you had like a monitor, keyboard, and mouse connected to it. See, so moving the mouse around right here. And these are some of the apps I already have installed on my phone. So you can kind of like, this is the one I wanted to show you for sure. This is really cool. So this is the Microsoft Windows RDP client. And I already got like a couple connections set up in here. Like this is my work computer, but this is uh, another computer I got set up in my office or actually on my network. It's a virtual machine that's running uh, MB media server. I already got it pre-configured. I'll just click connect. And it'll literally just pull this machine up and I look like I'm working on Windows. So, but this is going right from my phone, you know, so. Now, it's kind of laggy. Like I said, this is set up with the wireless, but I mean, you can kind of get a gist of it though. And we'll come back to home, minimize that. And the cool part is that you can kind of toggle through different apps that you might already had open already, so. And you can pull open like the native YouTube app that's on your phone. Minimize that. Samsung Music app. I mean, y'all getting in my business now. You seeing what I got on my phone or whatever, so. MB server so this is the app that runs on my server actually this is running on the remote desktop we just connected to a minute ago so there's a server version of the same software that's running on there and it's the client side recent apps whatever Come out of that. And these are like some of the installed apps. I wonder if Netflix will pop up. Because Netflix has a thing where it doesn't necessarily play 
on devices that are being controlled remotely like it'll work but like if i wanted to play like an actual video it's like nah you can't do it like this let's 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 see what happens so you can't show protected content or whatever so i mean it gave you that warning down there so it's like nah you can't do this so we're just gonna close that please not get in trouble Yeah, so on Microsoft Teams for, for work, you know. So I mean, it's it's it has its use cases. Like I told you initially with Samsung Flow, this is a way you can literally like use your phone as a full on desktop. You know, I mean, if it's like, where's my? Where's my phone? Oh, oops, what happened? Yeah, Chrome will work just like anything else, any other browser on any other device. So, but yeah, I thought this was pretty cool. It's something that I wanted to show you guys a while ago. So, I mean, like I said, it's just a different way to enhance your workflow and to make use of the things that you got. Or if you wanted to travel light, you could. I mean, like I mentioned before, you can get like a little USB monitor. Oh, see, there's a thing pop up about the stability of the wireless connection or whatever. So it might, I don't know if it disconnected me or not. No, it's still there. It's just, you know, a little laggy. But yeah, you could get a USB monitor, a little small one, and get the adapter that I showed before. A little cheap keyboard mouse, Bluetooth mouse or wireless mouse, and a keyboard combo, and keep it moving. And I have to bring a full on desktop, you know, or not desktop, but a, a laptop. So this is Man at Arms with Beats and Tech, possibly be known as Biz and Tech. And what I wanted to share about that is in the near future, I want to be in a position of where I can offer some of the things and services that I know, and I might do it under this banner but i want to be able to offer the, offer those things in like business packages for small businesses entrepreneurs and and maybe people in general to help enhance their workflows so one of the things that i'm looking at is backup solutions possibly small business like one page websites or five page websites or even like nfc digital business cards for people just small things that will enhance your business and make them to where they're not expensive to the point where they break your bank. So stay in tune for those because you might see some videos on some of this stuff in the near future. Also, like I said, I'm going to be doing some little quick shot videos, maybe just on the fly on my phone, but something just to get content out there. So keep checking out my videos. I appreciate each and every one of you guys who actually like leave comments and i've been noticing like i get a lot of comments from my samsung flow video and look to you people out there who give me bad comments about my music and what video is that the privacy.com video mainly because they said it's too loud again i apologize to you that was one of my first videos so I'm still learning a lot of different things. As you hear, I'm kind of stuttering around with this video, primarily because number one, I get a little delay with this headset on sometime. Also, the other part of that is that I haven't done a video in a while. So this takes a little bit of getting back into the flow of things. So again, be patient with me. I'm gonna try to get things back going again. And hopefully I can be a little bit more consistent in the near future. So with that, uh, being said i thank you guys for checking out the video stay tuned keep it locked and uh thanks for checking out beats and tech peace